A pleasant good evening to all viewers around the world. We are the New Creation Ministries and we are coming to you live this evening with our online deliverance night service. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight it's an honor. It's a privilege to be able to come into your homes tonight, my God, and have fellowship with you. Have fellowship, my God, in the breaking of the bread of life, which is the word of the Lord tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a blessing. It's an honor to be able to do so tonight. Amen. Tonight, before we begin, I'll invite you to bow your hearts with me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. Father, we thank you for your saving grace. We thank you for your tender mercies tonight, mighty God. We thank you for your loving kindness, mighty Father. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, as your people have joined hearts around the world, Father, in the island of Trinidad and Tobago tonight, mighty Father, Lord, with the intention of fellowship tonight, we are standing in a... In Jesus' name. Father, we release the power of your anointed mighty Father in respective homes upon your people tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, we saturate the very atmosphere, wherever they are located at, in Jesus' name. Under the blood of Jesus Christ and under the anointing of His Holy Spirit that breaks every yoke of the enemy tonight, in Jesus' name. We take authority over the very atmosphere, in Jesus' name. And we bind principalities and powers. We bind rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we That's tear down strongholds uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, we say, Holy oh, Ghost, you take you. control tonight. Uh, Holy Ghost, Ghost, move tonight on behalf oh, of your Spirit people. Touch God. lives. Bring restoration. Bring healing tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Bring peace and comfort uh, to the hearts and lives of your people tonight. That's in Jesus' mighty name Jesus we pray. Name and we everybody pray. say, Amen. 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 Tonight, believers, my God, tonight we would like to enter into worship. We want to encourage you tonight to share the life. Praise the name of the Lord. Invite sure. someone in tonight to hear the good word of the Lord tonight, the good news of the kingdom that is. Praise sure. the name sure. of the Lord. Jesus loves you tonight. Praise the name of oh, Jesus, God. my God. And he has, my God, an invested interest in you tonight. Praise the name sure. of the Lord. Tonight, my God, invite your children, oh, my God, to be part of fellowship. Invite your husband, your wife tonight. Tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. It's time to spend some time with Jesus. Amen. Praise the, Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, at this point in time, I would like to welcome our worship leaders, Sister Shivon, Sister Genevieve, and Sister Kylie Centros, that's going to lead us in some beautiful worship music tonight. Praise Hallelujah. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise you, Lord. Yes, we worship you, Lord. Yes, we glorify your holy name. Yes, we bless our holy name, Lord. Lord, yes, we are set free, Lord. Yes, we are free from shackles, Lord. Yes, free from bondage, Lord. Yes, Lord. I am who you say I am yes, tonight, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Who the Son has set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give it the praise. We give it the praise. Bless the Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor tonight, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank our worship leaders tonight that has led us tonight in beautiful My God worship tonight. Tonight, believers, if you have just joined us, My God, wherever you might be located at, whether you're in the island of Trinidad and Tobago or wherever you might be located at around the world, we want to welcome you once more. We Praise are the, the New Lord. Creation Ministries and we are coming to you live tonight, My God, with our online deliverance night service yes, my god i'm your host reverend michelle centros and tonight no stranger to you and i my god is our very own bishop and reverend carl centros believe us tonight we are reminded through song that we are indeed my god the children of the most high god tonight the my god and how do we know this my god but true my god his acts my God, his care, yes, my God, towards us tonight. Praise Hallelujah. the name of the Lord. My God, the Bible teaches us that he is indeed a faithful God. Oh, yes, my yes. God, and we can see no more than any, any other time, given time. Praise the name of the Lord. And especially the time that we are living in, that he is indeed faithful towards oh, his yes, children yes. tonight. Amen. Yes, yes. My God, today in Trinidad and Tobago, my God, started on yesterday a lot of rain falls. My God, and you would realize that there um, in Trinidad here presently, my God, a lot of persons, they are under flood waters. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, our thoughts, our prayers, my God, is going out on behalf, my God, of the church. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that most of you, you are doing as much as you can do to assist, my God, in these areas as well. Praise the name of the Lord. I was in contact with one, my God, that lives, resides in St. Helena today, my God, and they were letting me know that the water was slowly, uh, I should say, going down, my God, and I'm hoping, I know we had some uh, really heavy rainfalls um, a little earlier on in this evening. I'm hoping, my God, that they it don't, uh, I should say, change for the worst, Bishop. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So it's our prayer. Please continue to extend prayers, my God, especially for those that are affected in these flood areas. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And render assistance, my God, when you can. Praise the name of the Lord. So tonight, believers, my God, we would like to hear from the throne room of grace tonight. We would like to hear, my God, in what directions or which directions the Lord is pointing us. My God, where he's going to strengthen us tonight. And we ought to take counsel tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible teaches us tonight that he that had an heir tonight, let him hear, my God, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church tonight. Praise the name Praise of the Lord. Lord. My you. God, don't be like the five foolish virgins tonight. But my God, be like the five wives that heard the counsel, that heard the cry tonight of the bridegroom, my God, and made themselves ready. Praise the name of the Lord. And on that note, I just want to remind you that the Feast of Trumpets this year will be observed on September the 6th. Praise the name of the Lord at sunset, 6 p.m. Praise the name of the Lord. We know, my God, it's a special time, my God, where the Lord, my God, has instituted or designed, my God, to meet with mankind. It's the Feast of Trumpets on that day. Praise, Praise the name the of the Lord, which will start, my God, I shall say the beginning, my God, of feast that will end off or round off uh, the last set of Feasts of the Lord for the year, which is Atonement and Feast of Tabernacles, which will be following shortly after Feast of Trumpets. Praise the name of the Lord. So we want you to prepare yourselves, my God, for these Feasts of the Lord. My God, we know that it's a time of preparation. It's a time of deep introspection. It's a time of self-searching. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a period of time, my God, where the Lord looks in to see, my God, how much you really are doing on behalf of his kingdom tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. So tonight, believers, tonight, without further ado, I would like to hand over to us all tonight, the one that's going to break the bread of life for us, that is no less a person than our dear, our very own Bishop and Reverend Carl Centros. Praise the Lord. Bless the, the Lord. Thank, the Lord. You so Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Michel. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me um, extend praise the name of the Lord. Greetings to all those that are under the reach of my voice and those who are locally and those who are internationally. Tonight is indeed a wonderful privilege that we have that we can come into your homes and share from the word of God the praise the name of the Lord with you. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, praise the name of the Lord. We have so much to give God praise for. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, yes. 
the time that we are living in, it is um, really um, rough and tough time, times for so many, you know, um, but one of the things that we know, it is that all the signs that we are seeing and all that we are experiencing, it is telling us that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is about to burst the clouds. Amen. And the Bible teaches, you know, that he will come back here a second time. But before he comes back on the earth the second time, the Bible teaches that he will come in the clouds of the sky and he will take, praise the name of the Lord, the saints of God with him. And we will travel with him to those galaxies and we will, praise the name of the Lord, enter into the gates of heaven, praise the name of the Lord, where we will be with him in the heavens of heavens, praise the name of the Lord. And my God, you know, it's Jesus who said, he said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. He said, if it was not so, I would have tell you, I'm going to prepare a place for you. I'm going to come again and receive you unto myself. That the way I am, there you may be also. But tonight is important for me to let you know that the second coming of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that is after he take the church away from this place, when he comes back the second time to place his feet a second time upon this earth, I want you to understand, hallelujah, my God, he'll be coming back with a purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh yes, he'll be coming back with a purpose. And this is the reason why that we ought to be ready. Praise the name of the Lord. Saints of God, hallelujah, children of God, and even those of you who are not in Christ, I want to admonish you. It is time to be ready. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He's coming back to take vengeance on rebels. I said He's coming back to take vengeance on rebels. You know, Paul said in the, in Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 7 to 10, Paul said there, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. Taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, when he shall come to glorify in his saints, and to be admired in all them that believe, because all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. I want you to understand, hallelujah, that Jesus, hallelujah, is coming, and oh yes, He's coming back soon. And the Bible is saying here, hallelujah. And as I said to you, he's coming with a purpose. And the purpose that he's coming back, hallelujah, with, it is my God, not as a Savior as he came the first time, but he's coming back here, hallelujah, to take vengeance on rebels. And I want you to understand, my God, man, woman, hallelujah, whomsoever you might be, Wheresoever you might be, I want you to know that the greatest thing that can ever happen in your life now, it is for you to know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is for you to obey His will. Hallelujah. I want you to understand now is not time to be rebels against the will of God. Now is no time to be rebels against, hallelujah, the laws of God. For the Bible teaches that sin is transgression against the laws of God. And those who transgress the laws of God, I want you to understand that God, hallelujah, identifies them as rebels. He's coming back with vengeance. You know, Jude chapter 1 and verses 14 to 15. In Jude, Jude, Jude 1, verses 14 to 15, the Bible reads there, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesy of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints, 
to execute with 10,000 of his saints, to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all the, the, the hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. I want you to understand, hallelujah, that Jesus is coming back with a purpose. And my God, that purpose, he's coming back, hallelujah. It is to declare vengeance on rebels. I want you to understand, it is important that we be ready. It is important that we be obedient to the will and to the word of God. Hallelujah. My God, so much is happening. So many distractions. But my God, now is the time to keep focus on the price. Now is the time to know, hallelujah, that we are just, my God, we are just a few seconds away from the coming of Jesus Christ. And when I say a few seconds away, oh my God, one to say, is this preacher saying that a few seconds from now, Jesus is going to come. I want you to know that the Bible said he will come at midnight. I want you to know it is just a few seconds away from midnight. Hallelujah. And it is time to be ready. Hallelujah. In the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 11 to 21, the Bible reads there, And John said, I saw the heavens open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful, truth, and in righteousness, he had judged and made war. His eyes were as the flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies were in the heaven, and the armies were in the in heaven, followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, and out of his mouth goat a sharp sword, that with it rather it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and tread and the treading the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty God, and he had and he had on his vesture, and he had on his vesture and on his thighs a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. John said, I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls, and to all the fowls that flee in the midst of the heaven, come and gather thyself together unto the supper of the great God, that he may eat flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sat on them, and the flesh of all men, but but free, but free, and both free, and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the king of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat upon the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophets that worked miracles before him which, with which he, with which with which he de with which he he deceived them and had received the mark of the beast and 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 and, and them that worship his image, these both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, and the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the throne, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. I want you to understand that Jesus is coming soon. And he's coming with vengeance against rebels. 
and somebody I want you to understand rebels there it is those hallelujah who have been rebelling against his words those who have been rebelling against his will those who have been hearing the word of God and hardening their heart the Bible teaches that today if you should hear the voice of the Lord harden up your heart hallelujah I said Jesus is coming with a purpose hallelujah the purpose that he's coming with it is to destroy enemies mm -hmm. my god it is either you're for god or you are against him you cannot my god serve the devil and serve jesus at the same time you cannot my god be living for the devil and my god and preaching that the word of god hallelujah the word of god is for you the word of God is for you when you acknowledge it and live by it. Hallelujah. I want you to understand he's coming to declare war or to destroy his enemies. Oh, yes. In the hallelujah. In, in, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 8 to 12, the Bible reads, him, And then shall that wicked be revealed when the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth and that they might be saved and for this cause god shall send them strong delusion he shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie that they will, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Somebody, I want you to understand the Bible is saying there that a time is going to come when God is going to send strong delusions. And strong delusions, why? Because the will and the purpose of God must be fulfilled. Hallelujah. You will wonder, my God. You will wonder why people is thinking so. Mm -hmm. You will wonder why people, my God, don't seem to understand. Mm -hmm. You will wonder why people not seems, my God, to be comprehending right. I want you to understand the Bible teaches that God in the last days, He's going to send strong delusions and strong delusion, my God, that will cause a man to believe the a lie for the truth. And my God, and see the truth to be a lie. Hallelujah. I want you to understand. Hallelujah. My God, we are walking and living in the last days. Jesus is about to come. Hallelujah. And remove the church and come back here with us a second time. Hallelujah. Father, we give him the praise. We gave him the praise. You know, in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 11, hallelujah. From verses 11, the Bible reads here, and John said, and I saw heaven open. And behold, hallelujah, my God, a white horse. And I want you to understand, hallelujah, we read just now that that horse came. My God, look at, at that verse again, at the white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. We saw just now he's coming to make war. He's coming to declare war against his enemies. He's coming to deliver creation from bondage. How do you understand, my God? Creation have been crying out for a very long time. My God, even we ourselves, we are crying out for the redemption of our bodies. We are saying, come Lord Jesus, come. We are saying, Lord, we are tired of this place. Lord, my God, every day is a new thing happening in this place. But somebody, children of God, I want you to know that you are the hinderers of lawlessness. God have you to be here until the fullness of time. But oh yes, hallelujah, he's coming to deliver creation from its bondage. If you look at Romans chapter 8, Romans 8 from verses 24, Romans chapter 8 
from verses 21 to 24. The Bible reads here, because of the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption unto the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but we ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the Spirit, even we ourselves, we groan with and ourselves, waiting for the redemption to wet the redemption of our bodies. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seek, then why, then why do he yet hope for it? I want you to understand that creation is crying out. We are crying out daily, my God. It is plagues one after the other. It is trouble one after the other. People, my God, people are no longer happy in this world. I want you to understand, my God, a lot of Christians who know God and know the promises of God, they're saying, come Lord Jesus, come, take us out of this place. I want you to understand that now it is the time to be ready. It is not time to get ready, but now it is the time to be ready. Hallelujah. You know Isaiah, in Isaiah 65, verses 20 to 25, Isaiah said him that there shall be no more than an infant of days. And Isaiah is talking about, my God, the deliverance of creation, the deliverance, hallelujah, of creation, all that God has created, including me, including you, hallelujah. I want you to understand, Isaiah is saying it, there shall be no more infants of days, nor an old man that had not, that had not filled his days, for the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed, and they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the day of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the works of their hand. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of God, and the offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before the call I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolves and the lamb shall shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straws like a bullock, and thus shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, say the Lord. I want you to understand what Isaiah is saying. A time is going to come when creation will be delivered from this bondage, when my God, the lion will eat straw, when the serpent, my God, the serpent will eat dust. When, my God, the child is going to lie down with a wolf. I want you to understand, we are looking forward to this time. We are saying, come, Lord Jesus, come. We are saying, Lord, we are ready. We are ready, Lord, to go with you. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming again. And he's coming the second time to meet out justice. I said justice for those who did not hear me. I said he's coming to meet out justice. If you look, hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. If you look at Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 9, Isaiah said there, he said, And there shall come forth a road out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, and the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. 
and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the, of, of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with, in, with, with, with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked and righteousness shall and righteousness shall be the good of his loins and faithfulness the good of his ruins and the wolf shall also dwell with the lamb and the leopard and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the and the calf and the young lamb and the and and the young lamb and the fatling together and the little child shall leap and the little child shall lead them and the cow and the bear shall feed them their young their young ones shall lay down together and the land shall and the land shall eat straw like an ox and the sick and the sickening child shall shall play on on the whole of, of, of the ox and 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 the and the and the war and the weaned child shall put his hand on 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 on, 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 on the cock on the cockatrice. Then they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled of the knowledge of the Lord, and the water cover uh, as the water cover the sea. I want you to understand. We are talking about deliverance. Hallelujah. Oh yes, I said he's coming to meet our justice. Hallelujah. He's coming to meet our justice. My God, we are living in a world of injustice. We are living in a world of unfairness. We are living in a world of corruption. But Jesus is coming to meet our justice. First Corinthians chapter 15 verses 24 to 28. Paul said there, then coming the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom unto God, even the Father, and he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For, the, for he hath put all things under his feet. But when he said, all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is, he, it is manifest that he is, is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself subject, be subjected unto him, that put all things under him that God may be all in all. Hallelujah. Father, we give him the praise. I want you to understand, he's coming to meet our justice. He's coming, my God, to bring justice to the world. And somebody, my God, we are living in an unfair world. We are living in a world of injustice. We are living in a corrupted world. But somebody, Jesus, is coming and is coming back soon to meet our justice unto the world. Hallelujah. Father, we give him the praise. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Last but not least tonight, he's coming, hallelujah. He's coming to reign over all nations. Oh, yes, hallelujah. He's coming to reign over all nations. They are worried about the Taliban. They are worried, my God, about how much the Taliban can increase. I want you to understand, my God, the Taliban better be worried and concerned about the coming of Christ. I want you to understand that the Taliban, if they are not saved and living for Jesus, I want you to understand, my God, the time and the day is coming when every nation, I said every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord unto the glory of the Father. Oh yes, oh yes, that time is near. He's coming to reign over all nations. Oh yes, my God, Daniel said in Daniel chapter 2, verse 
verses 44 and 45. Daniel chapter 2, verses 44 and 45. Daniel said, And in the day of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to another. It shall not be left to another people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountains without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, and the clay, the silver, the gold, and the great God had made known to the kings of what shall come to pass, where after, and the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof is sure. Daniel is saying that this is sure. Oh yes, it is so, hallelujah, hallelujah, that the, that the kingdom of this world will become the kingdom of our God. The present kingdom that we can see will be totally destroyed. And somebody, our God, is going to reign as king of kings and lord of lords. In Daniel 7 and verses 13 and 14, Daniel said in chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, I saw in the night vision, and the whole one like the Son of Man come down in the clouds of heaven and came to the ancients of days. And they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion and glory and kingdom that all people, nation and language should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. I want you to understand, he's coming somebody, and he's coming to reign over all nations. Oh, tell the Taliban to watch out. Tell the Taliban, my God, oh yes, my God, Afghanistan, they have run from them. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, that there is one who coming, that man will have to flee. If you don't know him, if you're not serving him, you will have to flee. There will be nowhere to run. There will be nowhere to hide because he's coming to take over. He's coming to take control. Hallelujah. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the praise. Oh, yes. Oh, last but not least, Revelations uh, chapter 11 and verses 15. The Bible reads in Revelation chapter 11 and verses 15. And the seventh angel sang, and there was great voice in heaven saying, The kingdom of this world I become, I become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Oh yes, hallelujah. Daniel, my God, John concluded here, and John concluded when John saw and the Father shows them what, my God, is about to happen to the end of all of it. My God, oh yes, John said, and the seven angels sang, and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever, and ever, and ever. Tonight, I come by here to encourage you. I want you to know that, hallelujah, our Lord Jesus Christ is coming to take over. He's coming to take control. Oh, yes, ha, he's ready. He's packed up, and he's ready. Oh, the Father is about to release him. Are you ready? Oh, well, are you ready to meet our king? Are you ready to meet our Lord? Oh, I'm saying again to you, whomsoever you might be. Yes, my God, so many people are trying to run to their running to their deaths. So many people are trying, my God, to get themselves out of Afghanistan because the Taliban 
has entered. I want you to understand, my God, you got to get yourself ready, my God, for the King of Kings and for the Lord of Lords. I want you to understand, somebody is saying that America free from Afghanistan and the Taliban's won. But I want you to understand, listen to me, somebody, my God, that day is coming, the time is coming. Oh yes, hallelujah. When the kingdom of this world shall become the kingdom of our God, he shall rule and he shall reign. I heard, my God, the spokesman for the Taliban said that Afghanistan must be run according to our religion. But I want you to understand the time is coming when the king of kings and the Lord of lords is going to come and set down his rules. And yes, my God, he will reign forever and forever. And we shall reign with him. Children of God, it is time to get ready. Hallelujah. For Jesus is coming soon. He's coming back. He's coming back. Not as he came before as a savior. But he's coming as a judge. He's not coming back. As he came before, my God, and brought peace. But I want you to understand, he's coming back in vengeance. He's coming to declare vengeance against his enemies. Those, hallelujah, who have given hard speeches against him. Those, my God, who rejected him. Those who have blasphemed his name. He's coming back. Be ready. Watch out. Jesus is coming soon. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you the honor. Mm -hmm. We give you the glory. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Father, it's not by my, mm -hmm. neither it's by power. Mm -hmm. It is by your spirit. Mm -hmm. Tonight, I would like mm -hmm. to ask Pastor Michel mm -hmm. to lift us in the word of prayer tonight. Mm -hmm. Somebody we need mm -hmm. to be praying like never before. We need it to be praying and asking God to keep us in such a time mm. to keep us. Mm. Oh, yes, the enemy mm. is like a roaring lion, only like a roaring lion, mm. seeking to devour. Mm. But you know, God has given us the victory. He has given us the victory. We have the victory. In Christ, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'll call him Pastor Michel, mm -hmm. who will lead us in prayer mm -hmm. on tonight. Hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. Father, we give him the praise. Hallelujah. Tonight, we, we give him the honor. The word of the Lord that went we forward give him the tonight. glory. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are reminded tonight that our King of Kings, my God, his name is Jesus Christ. My God, he's Hallelujah. about, my God, to make his appearance first. Oh, yes. My God, and take his church away. My oh, God. Hallelujah. And then secondly, he's going to put in his second appearance. Oh, his yes. Second advent where he will be coming back to the earth to take back that which is rightfully his tonight. Oh, Praise yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, the Bible, there's good news tonight. The Bible teaches us tonight that they, my God, that serve him, praise the name of the Lord, my God, shall go with him, my God, oh, at his appearing tonight, praise the name of the Lord. Lord, my God, that which is about to come upon the earth tonight, my God, it is called the wrath of God oh, tonight. Yes. My God, and my God, the Bible says that scarcely, my God, any man would be saved in that time. My Praise God. the name of the Lord. The trials and the tribulations in, that, in those days, my God, it would be terrible. The Boy. Bible teaches us that no man have ever seen that mm -hmm. level of tribulation before. Mm -hmm. Because it is the wrath of God that mm -hmm. my God is expected to come upon mm. the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. These that we are experiencing right now, my God, it is just the smoke, Bishop. Oh, Praise yeah. the name of the mm. Lord. The smoke has intensified, mm -hmm. my God, alarming to us that the fire is right behind. Oh, yeah. Praise the name mm -hmm. of the Lord. So tonight, believers, my God, tonight I want to lift up, my God, each, those that are 
serving Christ and those that are not serving Christ tonight. My God. I want you to join hearts with me, my God, tonight in agreement. There yeah. is no distance in prayer tonight. Mm -hmm. My God, the Bible teaches us tonight that where the two and the three is gathered together, touching in agreement tonight. In agreement. In agreement. Agreement in is agreement. a powerful thing. Yeah. We thank God, my God, for technology tonight. Mm. Because technology allows us to be connected. Mm. My God, we might be in different areas of the world, different mm. parts of the world. Mm. We might be in different vicinities in this nation, mm. in this island of Trinidad and Tobago. Oh. But we can be in oneness of we purpose. Can be in oneness we can of be purpose. in oneness of vision. Oneness because of, vision. of the power of agreement. Power Tonight, of agreement. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So tonight, my God, I call upon the intercessors tonight. Yeah. My God, I call upon the watchmen and the watchmen oh, that yeah. are on the towers tonight to stand in Cold agreement. Up. Even as the Spirit of God will have me to pray tonight. Yeah. My God, agreement is a powerful thing tonight. Power Amen. To God. Hallelujah. Yo. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you, tonight. We thank you for your people, mighty Father, you, in a special way. Uh -huh. We thank you for this time and for this season, oh God. Yeah. We thank you for the power of your spoken word. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the authority of it tonight. Yeah. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, your mighty Holy Father, Spirit. that bring clarity and revelation, understanding, uh, yeah. mighty God, into the insight of your words tonight. Uh, Father, we who are children of the day, Oh God, yeah. for we are not children of the night. You no. said, children of the day, mighty Father, we mm -hmm. will not be taken by surprise, My mighty Lord. God, because mighty Father, this has been given to us to know yeah. tonight. It has been given to us tonight, mighty Father, yeah. to be able to discern the times and the season Father, oh because of your words, mighty yeah, Father, Lord. that you have counsel and you have forewarned us yeah, and yeah. you are consistently directing us through tonight. Mm -hmm. Father, tonight, as I say, stand in agreement uh, mm. and I join hearts together with my sisters and with my brothers mighty father yeah. throughout the world tonight uh, mm. father we lift up your people in the we mighty name of, Jesus, in the name of uh, Jesus father and I release a fresh unction uh, yeah, upon Lord. each and every household tonight uh, God. father even as we stand oh God uh, oh. in the midst mighty father for trying time uh, yeah. such a time like this mighty father mm. father we know Oh, mighty God, that it is just the beginning of sorrows tonight. Yeah, Lord. But Father, you have promised us, oh God, Your that promise. though we walk through the valleys of the shadow my of Lord, death, that we should fear no evil. Fear Why no evil. tonight, oh God, because there is a rod and a there staff is a and that staff. is there to comfort us the tonight. Comfort us. You have sent your words you tonight, your oh word. Father, to heal our diseases heal our tonight. Diseases. Father, tonight I lift up that man, In the name I of lift Jesus. up that woman woman tonight. Pa, uh, oh Father, God. that heart is gripping them with fear yeah, tonight. Uh, they don't know what tomorrow holds. Yeah, uh, but Father, what we do know tonight uh, uh -huh. is who holds tomorrow. Who holds we tomorrow. understand your promises tonight, yeah. oh God. Uh, and we understand, oh we God, understand the principles the, of your promise. Uh, the and one of the things of the that you have promised us, oh God, uh, yeah. that is in the midst of trials and testings, yeah. uh, you will not leave us. Uh, will nor will you us. forsake us tonight, no. uh, but you would be with us, oh God, yeah. uh, even to the very ends of the earth. Uh, uh, Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, name uh, of as Jesus. we release a fresh unction uh, uh, oh upon your people tonight, yeah, uh, Father, release it from the crown of their yeah, head uh, unto the soles of their feet. Uh, uh, Father, I speak a revival like no other time before, yeah. God. Uh, let, oh God, revival take place uh, through take the authority this. of your spoken words yes, tonight. Uh, we revive their spirits tonight. Uh, uh, we refresh it through the power of your spoken words yeah. uh, in the mighty name of in Jesus. Name uh, we of decree Jesus. and declare tonight, oh uh, God, uh, God, that they will take comfort. Uh, yeah, Father, Lord. that peace, oh God, uh, yeah. that passes all understanding uh, uh, in the midst of the storm. Uh, yeah. Father, they just as you did. Uh, yeah. You lie, mighty Father, uh, in the midst of the storm in the boat. Uh, Father, you were, Jesus, you were asleep tonight. Yeah. Uh, Father, I'm saying tonight, uh, 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 in, a, in the midst of a chaotic world, uh, uh, in the midst, mighty Father, of a world that is on a rest tonight, yeah, uh, we Lord. decree and declare tonight uh, that your peace that 
it pass and all understanding. Oh God, let it rest and abide, oh God, in the hearts of your people tonight. Oh, Father, tonight, in the name of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, oh Father, we cover, oh God, yes, their Lord. families tonight. Yes, oh Lord. Father, under the precious blood yes, of our Lord. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yes, we Lord. speak to the hearts and minds uh -huh. of their children tonight, oh God. Oh God. Those that are unsafe tonight, yeah. uh, we decree and declare we tonight decree and declare uh, that through the power of your Holy Spirit, your uh, Holy that your Spirit, words will bring about that conviction uh, and will conviction. lead them unto salvation lead tonight. Uh, unto in salvation. the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we bind spirits Jesus. of generational curses. Uh, 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 in the name of Jesus, uh, we bind spirits of, of rebellious spirit. Uh, yeah, in the Lord. mighty name of Jesus, uh, uh, we unstop their deaf ears uh, yeah. so that they can hear what the spirit of the Lord yeah. uh, is saying to them tonight yeah, uh, to remove scales from eyes tonight uh, so that they can see oh God, uh, oh God what your work is being done uh, yeah, what Lord. is being done upon the face of the earth uh -huh. and it is indeed oh God yeah, yeah, Lord yeah, yeah, your yeah. biblical prophecies uh -huh. will unfold before their very eyes oh, uh, yeah. and they will redeem the, the times oh, oh mighty yeah. father and walk circumspect yes, tonight uh, father tonight in the name, in of, the Jesus, name of Jesus uh, we live Lift up husbands and we wives, oh God. We decree and declare your strength upon them, yes. especially in a time like this. Pa, oh we God. pray your guidance, oh Father. Yeah, we Lord. pray for your continuous counsel, yeah, oh Lord. Father, upon them. Yeah. Lead them, oh Father, Lead in their every move tonight. Yeah, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. we pray, mighty Father, pa, oh God. God, that you will continue to provide for my them, Lord, my continue Lord. to preserve them. Yeah, in Lord. The mighty in the name in of the Jesus, name of we Jesus. bind spirits of frustration bind tonight. Of frustration. In the name of Jesus, in the we bind spirits of, of, spirit of dissimulation. In the name of Jesus, we bind spirits of contention. In the name of in Jesus, the name of we bind spirits of confusion, confusion tonight. In the name, in the name of, Jesus, of Jesus, we decree and declare decree oh, tonight and declare that your peace and your, your love, peace oh Father, your it will reside in their homes Let tonight. Reside. Let their homes mighty Father, oh God, be a haven unto them yeah, tonight. Lord, yeah, Where Lord. the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. oh Father, His presence is evident uh, yeah. in their homes tonight yeah. uh, and is reflected in their lifestyle yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the mighty name in of Jesus, name of uh, oh Jesus. Father, we pray for those yes, mighty Lord. Father that have given their lives yeah, tonight, uh, Lord. oh Father, unto Jesus Christ yeah, tonight. Lord. Uh, Lord, we pray for those uh, uh -huh. that have made Him Lord over uh -oh, their lives. God. We lift them and we place we them back them into your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus, the name we of pray, Jesus. mighty Father, yeah. oh God, that you will keep them, yeah. oh Father, against that day tonight. Yeah. We pray, mighty Father, yeah. that you will look over, mighty God, yeah. all those, all that concerns them tonight yeah. uh, in the name of Jesus. Name uh, we bind of Jesus. every plan, uh, oh, we bind every strategy of yeah. the enemy uh, concerning them tonight. Yeah, uh, Father, we decree and declare we in the name of Jesus name uh, of that Jesus. your purpose will be realized uh, oh Father, realized. in their walk with you tonight yeah, uh, in the mighty name in of the Jesus. Mighty name uh, of use Jesus. them unto your honor. Use, use them unto your glory use tonight them. in the mighty name the of mighty Jesus. Name uh, of we Jesus. pray tonight, oh God, uh -huh. that you would use our children, uh, yeah, oh Lord. Father, in a mighty way. Uh, yeah, for you Lord. have said in the last days, oh, uh, God, oh God, uh, Lord, that you would all Father, use them to prophesy. Oh, child, you would sleep. give them dreams and, and visions yeah, tonight, Lord. mighty Father. Mm. Father, use them, mighty Father, uh, even as they would seek you tonight. Yeah. Uh, reveal yourself unto them, uh, yeah, mighty Lord. Father, in ways that they have not seen my before. God, my God. In the name of Jesus, the name of use Jesus. them, oh Father, uh, oh, as, your, as your mouthpiece tonight yes, uh, to give your message, oh Father, yeah, unto the nations of this world. Uh, yeah, Father, you be glorified, be glorified tonight, oh God. Be magnified be in us, oh Father. We pray tonight for those mighty Father, uh -huh. Lord, that are seeking jobs tonight. Yeah. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus name of that Jesus. you will provide. We pray in the name of Jesus yeah, that Lord. you will open doors unto them tonight. Yeah, Lord. In the name of in Jesus, the mighty name Father, of you Jesus. be glorified tonight, be glorified. Oh God. Bless the work of their hands Bless tonight. 
Father, as they're going out, you take the lead. As uh, they're out and they're coming in, you do the same tonight. Uh, in Jesus' mighty in name, Jesus we pray. Mighty name and we pray. everybody say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen tonight. Father, Hallelujah. we give you praise. Father, Father, we give you the honor. We give you Father, praise. we give you the glory. We give you glory Bless tonight. you, Holy Name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord for those of you tonight Thank who you, Jesus. has been praise the name of the Lord given to God and continue to give to God. We just want to lift up your offerings and your, your tithes before God. Father, bless them. Yes, oh God, Jesus. multiply back to them. In the name of Let Jesus. Let the windows of heaven be open and yes, pour our blessings that they are not able to contain. Let it be pressed down. Yes, Jesus. Shaken together, In running Jesus over. Name. Father, we pray the Lord of God for them that no weapon that will ever be fought against them shall prosper. Yes, Lord. Father, oh God, you have promised the Lord to destroy the devourer in the name of sake. Jesus. Yes, Almighty Lord. God, be glorified. Them. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the name praise of the, the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you'll never know Jesus Christ, get to know him. Hallelujah. For Jesus is coming back with a purpose. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, Bishop, I believe Hallelujah. that there's a lot out there that recommitted their lives to the Lord and even given their hearts to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We want to welcome you into the, I should say, the body of Christ tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. And we, you know, we, we encourage you tonight, my God, you know, to fellowship. We have a church closed and the churches are closed presently. The buildings are closed. But my God, we have, my God, our online Zoom, yes. services um, and Zoom as well. We encourage you to continue to stay connected connected praise the name of the lord we have bible studies on a tuesday night Amen. praise the name of praise the, lord. the lord uh on at 7 p.m every tuesday night we will give you notice if there's no bible studies but there's bible studies on every tuesday evening at 7 p.m praise the name of the lord on zoom Amen. my god the links will be forwarded to those that are, have already been connected if you desire you are out there and you desire to join our bible studies Please, my God, send send us a notification. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I don't know if Bishop, my God, if you are connected to a church member, somebody invited you, you they get that. My God, you. they can send you that link as well. Praise the name of the Lord. You can follow us on YouTube. Praise the name of the Lord. Subscribe to Carl St. Rose, Bishop. Amen. Carl St. Rose Ministry, just it's Carl St. Rose. Rose. Just and Carl St. Rose, Amen. you can subscribe. And Amen. every new video that is posted, you will be notified of it. My God, you will have it, my God, so that you can review. And our services are posted on YouTube as well. Bible study sessions, it is posted on YouTube and on Facebook. So you can always revisit, my God, and recap and revise tonight. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. This coming Sunday, should the Lord tarry, my God, we will be having in our Sunday morning worship service we are on Zoom and we are on Facebook Live at 8.30 a.m. sharp. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. For those of you all who are celebrating anniversaries and birthdays a happy uh, anniversary to you. My God, happy birthdays to all those that might be celebrated in this time. Praise, Praise the name the of the Lord. My God, it's a blessing. It's an honor once again to be able to come into your homes, my God, and share Christ with you. My, my God. God, there is so much that has taken place, Bishop, around the world. My God, and today, my God, when we look at the amount of flooding, my God, presently that has taken place in Trinidad, I should say Trinidad, I'm going to say Trinidad, but it's Trinidad, really, that has a lot of, um, we want to admonish you, please, for those of you who might be residing near rivers, please be careful. I think that the orange level is out for the rivers. For those that are residing, is, uh, for the, uh, is riverine alert? Yeah. My God, for those that are residing near rivers, please be careful, right? Um, we were under a yellow alert. My God, as of 6 p.m. this evening, I don't know if that has changed. But please be mindful of the um, the floodings that are taking place and it's happening, people. We know global warming. My God, it's, I should say, right up there right now. My God, we are on red alert. The will, my God, creation is crying out, Bishop. Yes. That is creation crying yes. out and saying, we have had enough. We are ready for redemption. Messiah, we are waiting on you tonight. Amen. So believers, my God, signs of the times, it is everywhere. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, pay attention, take heed. 
Make sure that your life, my God, it is right with Christ tonight. Make sure that your relationship is right with him tonight, my God, because he can put him as a parent at any given moment, Amen. any given second tonight. Amen. Amen. I've said a whole mouthful and I can keep you here a whole night, but I would not. <laughs> bishop, so I'll hand over to our bishop at this point in time. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor Bishop. Praise I just want to remind you of one thing. I know that on Tuesday... We started a wonderful discussion. Amen. Wonderful discussion, the drafting of God's plan. You know, the drafting of God's plan. And we were looking, praise the name of the Lord, at the creation of the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. And um, we, we looked at the creation of heaven. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. And what, my God, the, praise the name of the Lord, is um, will be created before uh, the, the earth is being created after the creation of yes. heaven. And we um, on on Tuesday, you can come you can come expecting on Tuesday because I intend to take you on a journey, right? We intend to go the distance, right? So come on Tuesday expecting Tuesday Bible studies will be fire, right? <laughs> Tuesday Bible studies will be fire, right? So come expecting um, a lot. You can expect much on Tuesday. Um, a much, 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 much. So I invite you all members to join in on Tuesday for Bible studies. We will be going through. You will understand some things about um, God's, um, the drafting of God's plan. You will understand some things that you may have never really take much, uh, paid much, much interest of, you know, in the past. But it will now pique your interest so that as from Tuesday, you will have so much to think about. So much to think about. So please, come out Tuesday also, the Bible studies. Um, praise the name of the Lord. We are looking out for you. And we are putting much in store for you. And you know, praise Bishop, the there's a lot that are expressing how much they appreciate, my God, these Bible study sessions and even the very services on a Sunday and on a Thursday evening. So, you know, we thank God for each and every one of you. We thank God for your encouraging words. Praise the name of the Lord, my God. And, you know, we want to uh, encourage you. Let us, I should say, continue in agreement tonight where the purpose and the will of God is concerned in advancing his kingdom should as long as he tarry. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord, Amen. my God. Tonight, um, it's a blessing. It's a privilege again. My God, to be with you in your homes of fellowship. God bless you. We love you. Take care Lord, of each other Lord. tonight. May the grace of our God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit continue to rest remain in the Bible of us, both now and forever. And everybody shout. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Love you. Stay sweet in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise. <laughs> Come and bless say the Lord. Come. Praise the Lord. Come and say good night. My grand. My grandson wants to say good night. Come. come <laughs> Our look. grandson wants to say good night. Come and say good night. Come. 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 come look, look. Tell everybody good night. Say good night. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Tell him bye bye. You sneezy. Tell him bye bye. Say bye. Tell him bye bye. Tell him he was waiting for your time. Eh? Oh, he's sending a kiss. Yeah, send a kiss. Send a kiss to them. He's sending a kiss to them. Send a kiss to them. Oh, boy. Tell him. God bless the so Lord. Say bye, say bye. Praise the Lord. Say okay. bye to everybody. Okay, say bye, bye, bye to folks. everybody. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. <laughs>